All right, we're going to look at another situation where you can use the concept that the net change in a quantity can be found using a definite integral of the rate of change of that quantity. In this situation, it's something that involves consumption over time, or specifically here we have uh, a function that models the rate of potato consumption in some country in a million bushels per year. And we're going to try and determine now the total consumption between a couple of years here, between the start of 2002 and the end of 2003, so over a two-year period. Now, time in this situation in this model is, is years since the start of 2001. So that means for what we're going to do here, this represents t equals 2 for the start of 2002, and the end of 2003 represents actually the same as the start of 2004, which is time equals 4. So we're going to determine this uh, net uh, change in the amount consumed, or in other words, the consumption, the amount consumed, over that two-year period is going to be the integral from year 2 to year 4 of that r of t dt. You could write it out with the actual function in there, the algebraic expression for that, 2.2 2 plus 1.1 t if you like, or you can use that function notation from before. Two ways you can determine that. One is uh, using the numerical integration function on the calculator. And then the other is doing it analytically. But in either case, you're going to have to resort to the calculator to determine some values. So I think this is probably the better way to go, even though we'll do both of them here. If we're going to use that calculator, we are going to uh, find that numerical integration feature. Let's put it over here. Find that numerical integration on this particular calculator. It's down under this math menu. And I need to put in that I want to go from 2 to 4 years. Put in my function 2.2 2 plus 1.1 to the power of... Uh, you can put in x or t. It doesn't really matter what variable you put in here. Uh, just to match what I have there, I'll uh, put in t. Although it really wouldn't matter as long as that variable matched that variable and it should give you that that answer. 7.066 million bushels. Remember that functions in million bushels. Approximately 7.066 million bushels. All right. As I said, you can do it analytically uh, if you use an antiderivative of, uh, of that function. So an antiderivative of that function is just 2.2t plus 1.1t divided by ln 1.1. And we have to evaluate it for those two values. This would be a bit tedious to put in the calculator, but we can try it nonetheless just to confirm. Maybe it gives us another confirmation of our answer here. So uh, we want 2.2 times 4. I guess I could have done that part in my head, but oh well. 1.1 uh, to the power of 4 divide by, and then we've got minus the other part here. And we get that same value there, right? So either way, you're going to get that answer, All right? The second thing we're going to do here is look at writing a function for the consumption at time t. So not what we just found, which was a specific value at a certain time, writing a function that we can use at any time here. Now to do that, we need a specific value at a certain point in time. So you're given that at the end of 2001, or in other words, beginning of 2002, time equals 2, there is a total of 5 million bushels consumed. So we've got that, if we're using this notation here, uh, C at 2 is equal to 5. So that's the condition we're going to use. We can, we're going to do this two different ways here. 
We can write it using a definite integral, or we can do it using an indefinite integral. So we'll start by uh, doing this, using a definite integral here. The concept that we're going to use is uh, this idea of net change, right? Where if we want the value of c at time t, and we know it at uh, time 2, then all we have to do is add on the net change from 2 to whatever time we're talking about of that uh, r, the rate. Now, since I'm using this up here, this is the variable in my function, right? That's the variable, that's the time value. I have to use a different variable here, a dummy variable like x or w or something like that. So that's going to be my function. Now I can fill in this value here. I can uh, say that this is uh, the value that I have, 5 plus this net change. All right, that's my function because that just involves this uh, function that I can use on a calculator or wherever, right? That's a totally valid way to write a function for that using a definite integral. Now let's uh, get this out of the way a little bit. We can also do it using an indefinite integral here. We're going to get something that is just as useful here. Using an indefinite integral, we're going to start with this concept that this uh, consumption is the integral of the rate when we use that initial condition. Right? So subject to that initial condition here. So we want the integral of that 2.2 plus 1.1t, which we wrote before, which was 2.2t plus 1.1 to the power of t divided by ln 1.1 plus some constant. Now that's where our initial condition is going to come in here. All right, we can substitute now this initial condition to find that constant, and we'll have a function that is just going to be just as uh, useful here. So substituting that value in, c at 2 is 2.2 2 plus 1.1 to the 2 over ln 1.1 plus our constant there. If we solve for that constant, um, now I guess I could have put in here, uh, 5, because that's what it is. C of 2 is 5. Uh, if we work that out, which I'll do in the calculator as fast as I can here, All right, so about 12.09. Now that's not going to be a very nice number. We're modeling a real situation pretty loosely anyway, so if we have 12.10, uh, that's probably good enough, or 12.095. Let's say that this is uh, negative 12.095 is pretty close. So then our function would be c of t equals this value, or this function with the c substituted in there, 2.2t plus 1.1 to the power of t over ln 1.1 minus 12.095. All right, so sometimes it's nice to have an actual uh, function that doesn't have an integral in it, but this is a lot cleaner to work with in some ways, right? So Either way, you can work with uh, you can work with that and generate a function for that uh, the consumption in this situation. All right, so that's uh, using and applying that same concept of uh, integral as uh, the integral of the rate is the net change in a quantity.